What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Gloss Garage where we make detail and simple. My name is Sock and today I have some special for you guys. So today we're going to show you how we do our waterless rinseless wash. It's a little bit of a hybrid. It's mainly a waterless wash but I will show you why I use a rinseless wash. But all in all it is cold out here. Not as cold as much places. 23 degrees but I will show you how we do our you know waterless wash. So the first two rinseless wash I've really been enjoying a lot is the waterless wash from DIY Detail. This is not dilutable, so it's ready to use. So if you're gonna be using this a lot, it's not that cost efficient. But if you're gonna use the Maniac one, I think it's like $24 for a 32 ounce and it's dilutable one to five. So it is a fantastic waterless wash for value. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, all the products will be down below in the description. The car is dirty, so there will be a walk around. And yeah, so let's go ahead, get started, and then I will show you how I do the wheels and tires as well. And this form of cleaning isn't really much of to get rid of everything 100%. You just want it to be as clean so the salt doesn't you know, eat away through the coating. And another thing is half the vehicle was coated with Labo Cosmetica, STC, and HPC. And then the other half was coated with the Armor Detail Supply quartz pro coating so let's get started with the video so pretty much inside my ik sprayer i boiled two gallons of hot water and then i poured it in here and then i put half an ounce of owner's fried rinseless wash why half an ounce because for one ounce is for four gallons i have two gallons of water in here why did i boil hot water to push everything off one thing i noticed is if you use room temp water and start spraying it right away it turns to slush so that's not what we want because now you're pushing like slush and ice and grit around. But we're using this as our garden hose to push and remove as much of this dirt and grime before we'd use our wireless wash. So we we'll pour this in here and we're working in sections here. And we're not looking for perfection. We just want to push that grit and grime off and we're going to work in sections. So this is like I said, hot water, very hot water. We're leaving it on there, let it dwell, let it concentrate. And now we're gonna spray some of the DIY Detail Waterless Wash. Why am I using the DIY Detail Waterless Wash? I don't wanna use the Maniac line because it is a sister company to, um, to Labo Cosmetica. It's like their DIY line. So I wanna keep this variable free meaning um, I use a Labo product or a DIY, uh, not a DIY, Maniac line product. And it's somewhat compatible with this coating or whatever. I just don't want to deal with that. But here you wanna wipe and roll your towel. And you see, no ice, no dirt, no nothing. This is why we're using hot water. And you want to do in smaller, smaller sections because it is very important. I keep spraying as need be. This is why I use hot water to alleviate any ice or slush forming on the paint. Flip it around. And that's it. Is it gonna be the most perfectly clean vehicle? No, but the ceramic coating helps it drastically. Now I'm gonna spray a little bit more waterless wash on here. This isn't the most cost efficient way to wash your vehicle, but we're doing this and look, it's clean. This is just the dye that the DIY detail has, but is it the most perfectly clean vehicle? No, but the ceramic coating helped it out tremendously in helping clean and now we, we don't have that salt, dirt, debris, or anything eating into the coating. And it has been seven days as well. Let me show you. And one of my towels dropped, so we're going to throw that one away. But it is January 20th. And quick 50-50. So let's continue around the vehicle. Let's do the dirtiest areas and this isn't ice. This is actually salt mixed with, you know, dirt and grime that's on here. And let's get started on removing all that. 
you will need multiple multiple towels but once you're done i will show you what to do with your waterless wash towels but here we're using this to push all that salt and dirt and debris off and hot water is your best friend just boil it see how easily all this is coming off and you will have to work in sections that's just the nature of the beast next up grab your waterless wash one thing i did forget to state is both the maniac and diy detail have some protection on it which it's not really a big deal it, it they don't last as long that type of protection because it's not meant to protect much anyways the durability isn't crazy but yeah just continue washing and look quick easy simple and like I said, multiple towels will be needed for this job. But if you use the Kirkland ones, it's not that big of a hit. The cost, clean this license plate, get under here. And here is the 50-50. So great cleaning capabilities. We use the rinseless wash to push all that dirt and debris out. And this is what I'm missing to clean. And that's it. This is the whole door that I did off screen just for a better 50-50 as well. And let's start on the wheels. Let's just do the wheels real quick. So same context as before, just have your hot water with rinse wash and spray it. All over the wheels and tires. And with your tire brush, I'm scrubbing on the tires. And for the wheel faces, I just grab my flag tip nylon brush, clean away. With your dirtiest towel that you use your waterless wash for, scrub the face of the wheel, or not the wheel, the tire. As such, get all that dirt and grime out. Then you spray a bit of your waterless wash on the face of the rim and clean away. Like I said, just use hot water is your best friend. So that way it doesn't freeze up anything. And now you have a clean wheel and tire. That is it simple as that so that's how it is now and this is how it was before all right everyone so we just finished doing the entire waterless wash on my vehicle and hopefully you found the technique that i use very helpful and just a quick recap as you see the overhead of the entire walk around first things first is use hot water Boil hot water, put in an IK sprayer, mix your rinseless wash solution the minute you come out here during this time. Hot water is your best friend and use it as your garden hose to blow off most of that debris and dirt off the paint. And then you spray your waterless wash solution for extra surfactants and easy wipe off right away. Yes, the main culprit of helping remove that dirt and grime too and that self cleaning capabilities is because of the ceramic coating that is on the vehicle. but that's tip number one that is very important use hot water if you use any pre-diluted rinseless wash that's inside your garage what's going to happen is although it's not frozen it's 50 degrees and you're coming out here and spraying on a panel 
it will turn to slush right away and now you're just you know rubbing slush all over your vehicle and that's not something you want time is your best friend as well take your time work in smaller sections and you will get the results like this safely and easily and that's about it really so the paint looks fantastic it's super slick super glossy why did we use the diy detail rinseless wash or not rinseless wash i'm sorry the waterless wash the reason why we use this because the maniac line they have their waterless wash as well but i don't want it to be you know um chemical compatibility in terms of protection because the maniac line does have a little bit of protection as well on their waterless wash so i don't want it to say that it lasted longer on the labo cosmetic i one because it's a sister company i don't want to do that so we removed all variables and use the diy detail one and it still looks amazingly fantastic those are my two favorite waterless washes to use at the moment now in terms of how to take care of your microfiber towels this is what you're going to do easily this is one of the dirty towels and how are we going to take care of it my wife and i we use about 15 20 towels total to do the entire vehicle we all work in the smaller sections the vehicle is super dirty but easy way to do it is grab an empty five gallon bucket that you have fill it up with warm water to two gallons and from there you're going to put one ounce of rinse wash i use the diy so rinse wash and then you just dump all your microfiber towels in there and then from there, it's going to drag all that dirt and grime out, clean out your towels, and then put it inside the washing machine and wash with normal using either racks or riches or a um, clean and clear type of detergent with no softeners or anything like that. But that's about it, really. So hopefully you found all this information informative. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All the products will be down below in the description for you guys to order. And I apologize if the outro was long, but it's very important to note. Now, last things I really want to say is with your dirtiest towels, you can clean your muffler, the side skirts that's underneath, and your plastic and your grills. So that's about it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this content, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.